Hello and welcome to Elvin New Railways. A couple of weeks ago I started working on fitting the casters to the turntable. To make sure that the casters were orientated properly, I uh, bent that little bit of rail to the uh, the circle of the turntable and um, put it against the casters. This is the second set. They were slightly different because of the way the steel was bent, but um, it was easy enough to uh, fit them. I then began work on the uh, frog for the point. This was a few days later due to uh, copious amounts of rain. I've now come to the conclusion that starting with the frog is the best way to construct points. It's much quicker and easier. Once the frog and check rail were in place, it was time to test it. Though it looks like there's a lot of movement here, it's nothing too excessive. And um, as the uh, set of points gets constructed fully, uh, things will be uh, much stronger. Here's another layer of concrete. Um, the, the one side of the circle needed a lot more than I'd already put down. There you can see I've put a shaft in the middle of the turntable and uh, inside the metal is a plastic tube uh, with some wood hammered into it and then a screw through the top through a drilled hole. Plastic allowed for um, for everything to turn inside the, uh, the metal but um, it was done temporarily but we'll see how it fares. Here the concrete is almost up to the correct level. Uh, I think I probably need to add about a centimetre in places. Just eyeing it up there, I could see that I uh, needed to remove a little bit more off the surface. Here I've unscrewed the rail. This will form the uh, right hand rail of the curve heading towards the turntable. The curve wasn't quite sharp enough so uh, this is the method I used. a bit of faffing with the grinder I got it going and um, ground out the rails to take the blades. A 
guard just fell off my grinder. With the guard off, it was very easy to uh, to grind my hand. Put this in black and white for the squeamish. The winds were pretty strong, so uh, it's a bit scary working under all the trees. Any chance you get when it's not raining, you've got to just take it and uh, get some stuff done as quick as you can. So then it was time to do another test with the uh, the blade in place. Everything was fine, but you can see there's a lot of movement with the blade. That's because there's no sleeper directly under the end of it, which there will be. And also it will be connected to the other blade as well. What I'm doing here is checking the radius of the blade curve to the rail on the other side. It was a little bit too tight at the end, so I basically hammered that out to be correct. And here I'm checking the uh, rail that follows the blade. So I managed to get quite a lot done yesterday. Um, I did a lot of concreting for the turntable and managed to pretty much finish off the points. I got everything done as quick as I could and um, surely enough as soon as I'd finished the rain started. It got quite heavy in the evening. There's been hardly any dry days lately. This was just a push test initially, um, and uh, yeah, everything was okay. It was slightly tight going around there, but it was fine. There was a little bit which I had to file off in the end, but um, nothing major. This fish plate is opposite the frog.
Here's where I fold it down gently. So when the cement and uh, concrete's all dry, I'll uh, move the turntable to be level with the rails and check where I need to cut the rails. The level isn't far off, but um, the rails can be lifted slightly to uh, match the turntable height. From that angle it looks like there's quite a disparity between the uh, height of the turntable and the rails, but uh, it's not that bad at all. Um, and uh, the rails are just drooping down slightly, so once they're in place it should be fine. Here we're going back a couple of weeks now um, when I decided to try the engine facing the other direction uh, because obviously you've got to be able to run round with the engine facing both ways but the engine does lean slightly one way so uh, I took it round the loop at the back of the shed and took it to the run round the other end and there was quite a lot that needed to be removed from those roots. few hours of uh, sawing later I managed to get it through and it was okay. I could push it through um, but when I was sat on it it, was, it made a big difference and there were more that needed to be cut away. I never realised I looked so wobbly when I was sawing. It looked like my head's quite loose. Sarah's going to try a little bit of commentary next. Here we can see Annie and Arkley in the wild. He's pushing the... Oh my goodness, look at that face. <laughs> Absolutely knackered, mate. You've got all these little logos poking out. It's no good, is it? Oh. Oh. Not quite. Sadfully. You tried your hardest, but it did not work. You were not, aren't you? You I did, yeah. What's that? It's a little blob. It's a monster. It's a blob on the lens. You're a blob.
the engine uh, was in a bit of a state after all that so uh, needed a bit of a clean up thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed that and um, come back for another episode soon